Hello! I have two songs to share today. The first one you know quite well, but wait a minute. Where am I? Can you tell? Do you know where I must be today? I'm not at school, am I? I'm at home. This is my living room. Behind me, there is a fireplace. Maybe next time I'll show you what it looks like when it's lit up with a fire. It's really pretty. So I wanted to share two songs today and also something a little different and new, a drawing lesson at the end of this video before I say goodbye. The first song you know quite well, I think. We've sung it a lot at school. The second song is new. I haven't sung it in a long time. Um, but the first one is, it's a gift to be simple. It goes like this. It's a gift to be simple, it's a gift to be free, it's a gift to come round where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, we will be in the garden of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend we will not be ashamed. To turn and turn, it will be our delight, till by turning, turning, we come round right. I love that song. It was written quite a while ago by a group of people called the Shakers. It's an interesting name, isn't it? The Shakers. The second song is called Wake Me, Shake Me. I rediscovered it when I was looking in a songbook of mine here at home. I haven't sung it for a year, I just, I forgot about it, and I'm so glad I get to share it with you today. It goes like this. Wake me, shake me, don't let me sleep too late. Got to get up early in the morning and swing on the garden gate. Wake me, shake me, don't let me sleep too late. Got to get up early in the morning and eat up my chocolate cake. We don't really eat chocolate cake for breakfast, do we? No, that would not be a good idea. It's a good song though, isn't it? I'll sing it again. Wake me, shake me, don't let me sleep too late. Got to get up early in the morning and swing on my garden gate. Wake me, shake me, don't let me sleep too late. Got to get up early in the morning and eat up my chocolate cake. Speaking of cake, gave me the idea of showing you how to draw a picture of a cake. And then I remembered, or realized, oh, two friends are turning five. One already turned five. Nora is five now. And Fiona is turning five next week. So when we get back to school together, we get to celebrate two birthdays, two people being five. So I'm going to tilt this camera just like so. Oh, there you can see, there's my example. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I've got blank paper right here and I've got two markers. I wonder, I should scooch down. See if you can see me at the same time. Ooh. It's a tight fit. Here we go. Ready? A line. Have you ever seen one cake stacked on top of another cake? I'm going to do one more. One, two, three cakes stacked on top of each other. Need some decoration though, don't you think? Time for icing? We can pretend the tops of the cakes were iced and the icing's dripping down the sides. I don't think I've ever had, no, I have had pink icing. It's very pretty, don't you think? All right, and now we need some more decorations. For a birthday cake, it's not quite finished, right? What do we need? Candles. I'm gonna do five candles. One, 
two, three, four, five. Let's light them up. There, all lit up our birthday cake. I'm gonna tilt the camera back up and hold the picture high so you can see it. Happy birthday to Fiona and Nora, soon to be Fiona. Yeah, we'll get to celebrate when we see each other again soon. I will make another video on Monday. Today is Friday. So tomorrow is Saturday, and then comes Sunday, our weekend days, and a new video Monday. So see you in a couple. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.